Hey everybody, Gary Fong here, and I am here to demonstrate the new Sony AI tracking, which is a new innovation that they just released with the brand new Sony A6400 and the new Sony A9 firmware update version 5.0. Now, this type of tracking is a brand new nomenclature which integrates uh, what used to be different functions. We used to have uh, subject tracking, we used to have eye autofocus, and they were kind of different. So you would turn on eye autofocus while you were doing actual portraiture uh, because the continuous autofocus wasn't really fast enough to keep up with anything that was moving very quickly. Well, that's all changed now because the technology has gotten so much better and the data moves faster so that now we can actually take the image and look for the eyeball first. So first, under AI uh, tracking, it looks for the eyeball. If you can't find the eyeball, it'll find the face. If you can't find the face, then it'll find the subject, but in any way, it will track. And this is something that has to be done properly because it's quite hidden in the mysterious menus. They've got some really good stuff, but the engineering is so like kind of complicated that you wouldn't be able to really figure out how to get there. So I'm going to teach you how to get there um, by turning on subject tracking, which is a brand new men menu function, and then I'm going to teach you how to use it, okay? Okay, so under function, here's the one setting that is going to make everything happen that you wouldn't know about, and it's kind of brand new. It is called tracking, simply tracking. So you go over here, and then you... Uh, we'll just go down and we'll pick, it says focus area, zone, center, flexible spot, M, and then expand, flexible spot. This is the one you want, tracking expand spot. And when you have this on, what happens is this, you'll find a brand new box that's a little square. Okay, so you'll start off with something kind of in the middle, um, and we'll just go ahead and put it on. So, I'll just go ahead and put it over him again, and it'll hang on. Now, it's going to his face. You see how it found his face? And then every once in a while, when it can see his eyes, he's got sunglasses on. So this is a challenge. But it'll track that. Let's see if we can find... Now, she's far away and small, right? So, this will be just a little bit of... Uh, but you see when we see her eyes, and then it's tracking. So now, this is kind of cool, because I can just lay down my finger here on continuous high so now we're tracked again if she turns around it'll go for the now there okay so and I'm gonna engage again and you can see that I've got a sequence and that sequence is tracking so it hung on to her which is which is kinda cool and that's how you do sports photography on the A6400. So step one is put the camera on shutter speed mode, okay? That is important because we want to freeze the action. So right now I've got it on 2500. I can go all the way up to 4000. That might be a little bit of overkill here. Let's just go down to say 25, 3200 of a second, okay? And then I'm going to make sure by hitting the function button that I am on focus area tracking expand flexible spot. Then I'm going to make sure that I'm over here on uh, metering mode multi. Okay. Um, actually, when I'm shooting outdoors, I like to shoot on manual because if you're shooting tennis, if they go back behind the black tarp or something like that, you wind up getting overexposure on your subject. Um, this is very important. Autofocus continuous. This mode just doesn't work unless you're in autofocus continuous. And then um, um, the uh, motor on high. And that's where this becomes fun because then you can shoot at, say, 10 frames per second. So let's go ahead and engage. And let's see if we can grab that guy. So you see how the bars have gone around? And even though he is behind that net, you see how he's behind that net? It still hangs on to him. So um, that's a funny, that's a funny little sequence right there. And let's see, we can grab on her and maybe if she looks this way, I'll do this with models so you can see how that works. But you'll see that um, it's kind of engaged there and it'll just hang on. It'll hang on over there, over there, and all I need to do now, notice 
all I'm doing right now is keeping my finger on the trigger. As long as I keep my finger down, then I'm committed to that one subject. That subject can move all around, and and you see how I've got this at 2.8, so this is really out of focus. And um, but if I shoot, if I engage right now, it'll it'll start shooting. So now, if there's a person and you don't see the face or the eyes, then it'll just track the subject. See how it's, that's kind of like mid torso, right? Um, and then if she were to turn around, then it would engage on, on her face and then it would engage on her eyes. I don't think she's going to turn around anytime soon. Let's see if we have anybody who's kind of looking. That's cool. And that's kind of fun, you know, because you just engage. Now that, that, you see how that one girl went right ahead and I'm still engaging on that girl right there. So someone walked ahead and we lost that. Let's get one of these guys without glasses. So you see, even though he's through the net, I've captured his face and then his eyes go in. So that's pretty interesting, isn't it? It's on his eyes. And so I'm firing at 10 frames per second. Now let's just take a look and see how that actually captured. We'll go inside this group here. Shooting through the net and getting 10 frames per second. Now we'll engage here. So here you see that it it can't when it can't see a face, it just tracks the subject. But when it does see the face, it goes and picks up the eyes. See? She's turned away from us, but it picks up the eyes. And it hangs on to her head because it can't see her face. Now, mind you, we're shooting sports, but we're focusing on the eyeball. How cool is that? It's really interesting. Let's go over here. We're going to track her. Now, mind you, this is a $900 camera, right? See how it's on the eyeballs? And there we go. I'll try to get a little action sequence here. Here we go again, and then we're on to her, so eyeball, this girl went right in front of her, eyeball, this girl went right in front of her, reacquires, and we're on the eyeball again. So now we're on him, I think he's, acquire. This is how you practice, you acquire, you grab the eyeball, and you get these really cool images that are 7200 at 2.8 now. Can't do it again. We're playing real volleyball now. Okay. So this is like, if you're a wedding photographer, how cool is the setting right here, right? Because the number of usable shots that you can get, uh, it's not, yeah, I guess it's almost like cheating, but it's not because your eyeball wouldn't, wouldn't uh, betray you. Like, okay, so here, see, we're on the eyeball and we're through the net, which I think is pretty uh, out there. So again, uh, when it does, when it sees the eyeball, it acquires the eyeball. When it can't see the face, uh, we can't see the eyeball, it acquires the face. When it can't see the face, it acquires the torso.